Hi Leo, this is going to be your in-depth love reading for mid-September 2020. Uh, we will see what messages come out. And just remember guys, these are general readings. So if they don't resonate, please don't try to make them fit. But if they do, please like and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see, Leo, Magician card, the Hierophant in reverse, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands in reverse. So Leo, I feel like when it comes to your love life, uh, you've been trying to manifest a certain connection, um, something that's not exactly traditional, but something that is also beautiful. You could be, because you know, the Hierophant in reverse is kind of, I'm breaking all the rules type of energy. So that gives me the idea that, you know, you're wanting to manifest something like an amazing type of connection. A connection that's not really your usual connection, you know, like something different, something beautiful in a way that um, it kind of just sweeps you off your feet, okay? Um, and it's been a long while. I feel that uh, every time you think you've met someone, uh, you can actually have this Ten of Cups with um, the person proves to be like non-committal okay and you're kind of tired of that but I feel like in mid-September you're connecting with someone um, you could be connecting with a Gemini or a Virgo here with the magician card honestly it could be anyone really let's not fixate on that but I do see emotional fulfillment happening um, I also feel that you met this person after like a long time of looking when you were like okay you know what i'm not looking anymore and then this person kind of just you just met them um let's see let's clarify this card and let's see who this person is what their actions are towards you how do they view you okay and we'll do past and uh, um, new person as well okay so you've been worried about this okay nine of swords okay so you've been really worried about the fact whether or not you're ever going to Wow, Eight of Pentacles is uh, showing Seven of Pentacles and both in reverse. Okay, so Leo, I think you've been worried about your happiness. You've been feeling like, is my emotional fulfillment ever going to happen? That type of energy, you know, um, where you're doubting whether or not someone will ever offer you, come to you right and offer you an actual relationship. It's like every time you're connecting with someone, it just somehow like turns out not to be... The right uh, thing like uh, i also feel that people come to you um showing so much interest uh, showing so much affection and then all of a sudden you know um when you're starting to get emotionally attached they turn out to be literally the opposite of what you're looking for they turn out to be not looking for the same things as you and that's really frustrating for you leo because obviously you want someone you can love care for someone you can cherish but um it just it's one after another it's just people who are not really up to your standards and you find that out after you start like getting that emotional investment when you're emotionally invested that's when they show that side to you like oh i'm not sure where this is going i'm not sure if i see a future here i'm not sure if i want a label okay and that is really frustrating for you leo because i think you want this ten of cups with someone and you've been really worried about it also i can see you've been stressed out like if i'm ever going to find a person you know that can actually give me that happiness am i way over in my head do am i not worthy but of course you're a leo you know you're worthy right you know um but leo i also see that you're no longer putting effort into that you're no longer looking for someone to make you happy you're in more in an energy where if this is supposed to happen it will happen i will let it come to me in the month of september i'm not seeing you in a bad energy okay i'm not seeing you sad or depressed i'm not seeing you lonely um you might be connecting with someone you know but you're not really emotionally invested you're taking your time this time and if you're single okay you're still not sad you're more in an energy whatever's meant to me meant for me will come to me it's okay until then i think leo what you really need to do here though when it comes to your love life i think you need to start uh, working on yourself because the seven of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse which shows me you're not really working on this 
Um, you also might want to be a little more supportive uh, if you are connecting with someone or even just towards people around you, okay? You want to be supportive. You want to be loving towards them. Uh, Six of Pentacles is generosity, right? You see how this woman is like handing out gifts uh, to people who are like bowing down in front of her, right? And Leos are generous people. Again, I, I don't really see any forward movement here for you, Leo, right now, okay? I see that you're more in a place where you're trying to be strong. You're trying to be strong and have more faith, but it's like wavering faith. You're not a hundred percent sure what's what. You're not a hundred percent sure whether or not like like you still have your doubts, Leo, but you're trying to stay as positive as you possibly can. Um and even like if you're dealing with new people, you might have doubts about them. You might wonder like, should I ask them if they want a label? Should I ask them for a commitment? And then kind of step back because you don't want to repeat the same patterns. Um, I do see that August was really good for some of you. Um, a lot of manifestations might have come in, but again, no, like a very non-committal energy for whoever you were connecting with romantically for some reason, okay? So we're gonna see. Uh, what's going on with my Leos who are waiting on a past person or, you know, dealing with a past person, okay? Um, so if you have reconciliation on your mind or a past person on your mind, this is going to be for you. Um, maybe I should turn the flash on. Okay, so we're going to keep the flash on because this is just way better for lighting. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I think it's a little too dark here where I am. Um but okay, let's see, Leos. Okay, I can move this back because now you can see the cards. So, I'm in Leos dealing with a past person. King of Wands in reverse. High Priestess. Following your intuition. Nine of Swords again, Leo. You're really stressed out about someone. You're really stressed out about someone. There's competition or arguments okay you're really stressed out about someone leo let's see you could be dealing with a, another fire sign okay um or maybe someone with fire in the, the world endures yep holding back holding back yep holding back a king of pentacles so if you're dealing with a virgo could be a virgo as well but all zodiacs are here so let's not get um fixated on that but leo sorry guys i'm trying to set up as i go but um uh, yeah, Leo, I think if you're dealing with a past person, you're holding your passions back from it. You might even be holding uh, communication back from them, okay? Um, you're holding emotions back from them. You're quietly watching them. You're not really showing them that you are interested in them still. You're still waiting on them. You're not really showing that. I think you're putting up this facade, like you're putting, not a facade, it's like you're trying to be strong. You're trying to show them that no, I don't need you. I'm not going to be here all the time. Um, I'm just going to quietly observe you. But Leo, I think you're really stressed out. You're really hurting. However, financially, you look like you're doing well. Okay. Um, and if you're dealing with an earth sign, I feel like uh, there's a king of pentacles that you're worried about. Whoever they may, that might be for you. And there's two fives. So... Leo, there's a lot of argument, competition, okay? You might have even had a like an argument with this person. And uh, this holding back has kind of turned into a competition as well. It's just like uh, who, who can hold out longer, almost. The Five of Cups in reverse, you know, shows me that you're having a hard time letting go of this. You're having a hard time focusing on what's still there. But you're trying to do that. You're trying to focus because it is in reverse, right? You are trying to focus on what you still have. You're, like I said earlier, you're trying to be more positive. Even when you're doubtful, even when you're hurting, you're trying to be more po very positive about this past person, okay? You're being positive that no, you know, they will come. I just have to be patient. I just have to be patient. And you're holding your emotions back, you know, um, you're really in touch with your intuition though. I think you're like staying in touch with your intuition, kind of following your gut feeling. And you might even get that feeling. You know, sometimes when you get really anxious, like someone's uh, thinking about you or someone wants to talk to you, Leo, I think that's uh, how you must be feeling right now. You might be feeling, getting that anxiety, like 
coming in and out of your energy. So let's see how this person views you. How does this person view my Leo? How does this person view my Leo right now? So Leo, your person is whoever is on your mind. And we, this is the past person, okay? Justice in reverse. Hmm. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're holding back from you, Leo. They are totally holding back from you. They view you as someone who is unjust for some reason. I don't know what conversation you had with Le them, Leo. But they feel like you're not just. You're not... Uh, you're not fair is what they feel like. Okay, why do they view my Leo like that? Let's clarify this. Wow, seven of wands in reverse. King of Cups. Leo, you might have given up on this connection. You might have even given this past person a ultimatum. Like, uh, you know, um, either you offer me love or, you know, I don't go forward with this. Um, and you got the King of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, of course, they are also withholding emotions here which is funny, um, they are avoiding conflict here with you, you might have given them an ultimatum, is what I'm getting, okay, what are their actions towards you, let's try the game of thrones for that, what are their actions towards you, page of cups, okay, so they might come apologize, Leo, so Page of Cups, they might actually come apologize to you, especially if it's a Pisces that you're dealing with because you see there's a fish here. Um, Page of Cups, that could be an apology. They might come and uh, try to offer you... That's weird because Six of Cups came in reverse. So Six of Cups in reverse, you know, maybe right now they're holding back, but I do see them reaching out and apologizing, okay? They do feel sorry. They do feel guilty. They see that you're unfair. Maybe this person wasn't ready to commit, Leo. Okay? Because that non-committal is just like a theme going, this energetic theme that I have picked on ever since I started your reading right now. Okay? Let's see. Seven of Wands in reverse again. Wow. Okay. That's two Seven of Wands. Yeah. They just don't want conflict. They just don't want to argue with you. So even if they come apologize and they feel that you're going to argue, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to say anything. Let's see what your actions are towards them, Leo. How do you view them? Let's see how you view them first. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. You view them just how they view you. So they view you as justice as reversed and you see them as judgment as reversed. You feel like uh, this could be a karmic partner that you're dealing with by the Vilio, but or a Libra. Um, but uh, you feel that they are also indecisive as hell or they don't really make any decisions. OK, we've got the hermit at the bottom here. So I'll take that here. Um, that shows me that you're holding back from them. You're taking time to not tell them what's going on in you, what's going on with you. You're, it's like almost you're withdrawing from them. They're withdrawing. They feel guilty though, Leo. They feel very guilty. Okay, you view them as someone very indecisive. Let's clarify these cards. Okay. Interesting. The devil. Yep. Wow, Leo. <laughs> So you might have a negative attachment to this person. This person makes you sad with their indecisiveness. They make you depressed. You might have even cried in front of them, okay, or on like on the call, like just in front of them in general. Like they know that you have cried about them. And uh, it's a negative attachment. You feel tied to them. It's almost like an obsession. And you might try, you might be like obsessively thinking about them because procrastination and obsessiveness, you know, is what I'm getting from the devil card here. Um, you might be trying to like not think about them so much. But then again, guys, when we are saying let's not think about someone, we're thinking about them, right? So the hermit, why are you holding back from them? The fool. Okay, interesting. You're just kind of let things, you're kind of trying to go with the flow, which is not like you, Leo, but you're trying to be more grounded. You're trying to be... How do I say? You're trying to just follow your path, like instead of trying to control it. 
because you feel kind of exhausted too you know you feel like you're always procrastinating always obsessing over this person they always like they they are so indecisive okay you have to hold back from them they're holding back from you um they're very non-committal but they also feel guilty you might not even get like a bad energy from this person like a vibe bad vibe Okay, let's clarify why they feel guilty, Leo. Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Temperance in reverse. Yeah, I think this person lacks a lot of balance. Okay? They lack a lot of balance. And they're that's a very confused energy. Because you see how her one foot is on the ground, one foot is in the water. Right? That's a very, like, confused person there, Leo. Right? And in reverse, it shows that they just lack that temperance. They lack that type of uh, balance within them okay uh let's see where the seven of spears why are they holding back why are they avoiding conflict they feel burdened okay so when you have arguments with this person leo they feel burdened they feel like it's too much to carry for them okay um okay so let's see their action towards is apology but i think they have like some work to do here before they can actually apologize to you leo Let's see. What's the possible outcome with this past person? Three of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So, no reunion? Hmm, interesting. Possible outcome. I feel like, Leo, you're manifesting different things in life. Three of Cups in Reverse shows me that there's, like, not really any healing in this situation. Like, this person is just not putting any effort. They do want to come apologize to you, but they're just so confused about it. The magician shows us that, yes, you can manifest an apology. You can manifest a comeback around but outcome wise okay we're gonna take another card for outcome from this other deck as well i just i feel like you're both manifesting different things leo the hanged man yeah you gotta have more faith i think okay so this is i think about i think you need to have faith Okay, be specific about what you manifest, Leo. I think that's what you need to do. Be specific about what you want to manifest with this person. Is it an apology? It is a proper comeback? Do you want them to go on their own journey and then come back and grow with you? Because honestly, right now I am not seeing a... I'm sorry to say, but I don't think there will be a reunion, okay? Um, that's what I see for the past person, okay? So let's see what we have for um, the new person. Okay, that you're dealing with. Um, and then we'll do it one for singles that don't aren't really involved. But let me just clear these cards real quick. So, Leo. Um, let's see if you're dealing with a new person. Okay. Let's see how they view you. Knight of Swords in Reverse. You, you're holding back from them. Three of Wands. You could be at a distance from them. King of Swords, okay, so they want to communicate. This could totally be an air sign. Uh, King of Wands in reverse as well. That's two kings, okay. Nine of Cups in reverse. Queen of Spears, okay. Uh, Queen of Wands. Um, so, Leo, they view you as someone, this new person views you as someone who holds back from them. You hold back your passions from them. They see you as someone very logical, okay. Um, let's clarify this. How, why do they feel knight of swords in reverse for my oh three of swords that's two threes you guys the world in reverse okay leo i think okay so roles can be reversed remember that okay this is a general reading but i'm reading from your point of view they view you as the knight of swords in reverse they think when you're not talking to them that you're talking to someone else. They feel like you have someone else. Okay? They feel like you're going to break their heart. Then you've got the three of wands in reverse, which shows there could be, like, a lot of distance. Okay? 
they're kind of tired of waiting. They feel like you never make a decision. You're just you just kind of keep them waiting, Leo. And then again, the world in reverse. That's more delays. That's more waiting energy, having to wait. Okay, King of Swords. Why is that the mutual energy here? That is coming. Oh, wow. Okay. So this person feels like you hold back from them or you have someone else, but this person actually has a lot of potential, especially if you are looking for someone who's committal. Um, this person does have a lot of potential. Four of Wands is long-term commitment. Four of Wands is long-term happiness, you know? And I think this person has a lot of that potential here, Leo. Um, however, why is the King of Wands in reverse? Because they feel... The, you're both because this is your mutual this is them and this is you we'll get to you in a second here the strength in reverse king of wands hmm you're both holding passions away from each other too you're not really opening up uh about how passionate you actually are towards each other you're not really opening up to each other you both might have you know come out of really bad or abusive relationships in the past um because leo you know overall when we did yours we saw that you know that uh, you were trying not to focus you're trying not to repeat the same mistakes you're looking for someone who's committal and this time with a new person you're being very smart about it you're not really trying to force anything however with the past person i feel like you tried forcing and you got the five of pentacles here i will take that um if a card shows up on camera i take it okay so I just feel like that with a new person, you're trying to withhold your passion, trying to take things slow. Because when with the past person, it just, it was like you tried to move things, you tried to give them an ultimatum and it kind of backfired for you, right? Um, that person feels like you're drama, you're a lot of conflict and they want to avoid that at all costs, right? So the new person I feel feels like you hold back from them or you have someone else. That's why you're not giving them time because this person might have had that happen before where someone was not giving them enough attention, and especially if this is a Gemini or Libra that you're dealing with, if you don't give them attention, if you don't talk to them, um, you know, they kind of lose interest. They kind of feel like, okay, this isn't going anywhere because the air signs kind of like your attention, okay? If you're dealing with an air sign. I see all zodiacs here, to be honest. Uh, I'm seeing Aries as well. I'm seeing Sagittarius and Leo as well. Um, and you're both holding passion from each other, but you're also almost at the point where you can't really hold it back anymore. Okay, I have a good feeling about the new person. I'm going to say that though. The nine of cups in reverse on your side, on how you view them. Okay, you feel like they're kind of self-absorbed for some reason. Okay, nine of cups in reverse is kind of a greedy energy, a little self-absorbed. Maybe this person talks a little too much about themselves and not so much about you. Um, you want to walk away from them. Okay. You want to walk away from them. Weird, Leo. Queen of Wands here. Queen of Spears. Let's clarify that. Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Okay. You're holding back your passion because you're just like, you know, if it's meant to be, it will work out. But you also want to, you're very confused about this person, Leo. Because this is a different story and then this is a different story. Here, it's like, I'm holding back my passion because if it's meant to be, it will be. Interesting, Leo. I just got another message. Okay. I feel like, Leo, you're holding back from the new person. And I'm going to call you out right now. You're holding back from the new person in hopes that your past work person will come or reach out. You're trying to stay available for your past person, Leo. Wow. I don't know who that's for. I'm sure that's not for everyone out there. But, yeah. You're trying to stay available for the past person because you still feel like they would come back. And yeah, they might. They might. There's a big possibility from that read. But I'm not seeing a promising future there. They want to avoid conflict. That's a very cowardly energy. I'm not getting a bad vibe from them, but that's a cowardly energy, Leo. Do you really, do you think you're going to stay interested in that for long? Someone who's not a risk taker? Someone who isn't willing to communicate how they feel. Okay. So let's see what your outcome with this new person is, Leo. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's let's see their actions towards you first. 
What are this new person's action towards my Leo? Leo, you feel like you want to walk away from them? You're confused. You don't want to lose this new person, this new connection. But you also kind of want to stay available for the past is basically what I'm seeing. Okay, their actions towards you. Two of Swords, <laughs> they're confused. They're confused by your behavior, Leo. Now, guys, remember, energies can be vice versa. So take it as it resonates. And if it doesn't, then it's okay. The message might not be for you. Okay. Your actions towards them, Leo. We'll see the outcome, but right now they're really confused, okay? Their near future actions, they're still going to be confused. They're very conflicted about you. They don't really, they feel like you're keeping secrets from them, okay? Um, I also feel this person is also keeping a part from you. They're not completely opening up to you because they feel that you're kind of cold. You're the Night King. If you watch Game of Thrones, you know how cold the Night King was, right? Um, your actions, the Hanged One in Reverse. You don't have a lot of faith in this, Leo. And that's funny because the Hanged One came out as outcome for the past person. And now it's coming reversed as your actions towards this new person. Wow, Leo. I think you're trying to stay available for the past person. Wow. Okay, we'll get advice for you, okay? We'll get to that. We're gonna do with Leos who are not dealing with anyone right after this, okay? This is a very detailed extended read, guys, so please bear with me. Um, let's see, Leo, what your outcome is with new person. Possible outcome, please, universe. Wow, the tower card, Leo. We can clarify that, but I guess we just already, yeah. So I think you guys are going to talk about this, okay? And it's going to be a sudden communication. I don't know who's going to lose their patience, but someone's going to lose their patience. And it's going to be a sudden decision, a sudden argument, sudden decision, sudden communication about the sudden, sudden twice, right? It's going to be like, yeah, we're done. We're not going to move forward with this. But Leo, I think this one's kind of on you. I'm sorry, but I think this one's kind of on you. Okay? I mean, reverse the energy if you need to. Um, but I feel like this one's kind of on you. You honestly haven't really taken the time to connect with this new person because I feel that you've been occupied hoping for the past to return. And if you're not waiting on the past person, it could just be that you have let your past experiences influence this connection way too much. And because of that, you have held back or called it quits too soon on this. Now, if the ending hasn't happened yet, Leo, okay, because time is fluid and thorough, I would suggest you t try to connect with this person, okay, on a genuine level. And see how things go. You gotta risk it for the biscuit, Leo. Right? Um, see how it goes. Take a chance. But if you have already withdrawn so much and you don't think there's any going back, well, that is okay, Leo. There will be a new person and we're gonna get into that, okay? Um, let's see who's coming towards you, Liz. I tried to do this video live, um, but it wasn't letting me do that because I obviously wanted to see you guys comment as we were going i love connecting with all of you but um i will premiere this and i will be online so i will be live you know do what we gotta do <laughs> this ow okay <laughs> sorry leo the cards just fall out so i'm gonna clear this because obviously that's gonna take me like two minutes to shuffle properly and cleanse the energy and then we'll move on to the people who are not dealing with anyone or involved with a specific person okay so let's see, Leo, who's coming towards you, what your love life looks like for my single Leos who don't have anyone specific on their mind and just want to know who's coming towards them and when they will meet the right person. Okay, okay. Three of Spears, so Three of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, interesting. A lack of stability, Leo, Knight of Swords in reverse, hmm. 
Strength card. Nice. That's your energy. Two of Wands. Okay, Page of Swords. So, Leo, I've got Air, Earth, and Fire here. Okay. Um, Page of Swords in reverse. Let's clarify these. Okay. Who's coming towards you? Air, Earth, and Fire is what I have for Zodiacs here. For Elements. Two of Cups in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Swords <laughs> upright. Clarifying Knight of Swords. Interesting. Leo, this might take time to come in. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is going to be a past person. I think this is going to be a past person, Leo. This is someone you already know. Your next romantic partner is going to be someone you already know. Possibly an earth sign. Honestly, could be anyone. I've got water, air, earth, everything here. Fire as well. But I feel like this is someone you didn't have stability with in the past. Okay. And I think they're now coming to take another chance on you. Because um, this is with the Page of Swords in reverse. This is someone who's been out of touch with you. And they will kind of communicate out of nowhere. Could be another Leo as well. I need more information. The Hanged Man. Yeah, Faith again. The Hangman has come out like literally all three readings for you right now. Seven of Cups. Yeah. So a lot of doors will be opening for you when it comes to your love life. I feel like you're going to have a lot of options very soon. Probably two to three months from now. I have two here more ev heavily. But I feel like you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to your romantic life. I think, Leo, you have some balancing to do about your love life. I think you need to decide whether you're not whether or not you're gonna let go of the past people properly and move on towards something new like a fresh start do you want a fresh start or not leo i think that's the question here okay and will you ever have love of course you will you know we all i believe we all find love okay and those of us who don't i feel like are the people who believe that they won't so if you believe you're gonna find love that there is someone special out there for you. I don't think anybody can stop that from coming in because power of believing is the most powerful thing, right? Whether you be a religious person, whether you believe in the law of attraction, the universe, or whether you believe in science, the power of believing, having the right mental state, the right mindset really changes us and really changes the things around us, the people around us. So, Leo, I feel like in two months, though, you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to your love life. If you don't already have options, time is fluid. But you're going to be with someone from the past, I feel like. And this person will restore your faith in some way. Some way, shape or form. But, Leo, I think before you get into it, intuitively, I feel like you really need to let go of the past. I know it's easier said than done, but I think that's a very, very important thing for you to do. And even if you're in a relationship already, Leo, um, and you know, you've been having issues with your partner, okay, and you want a fresh new start with them, or move to the next level with them, you need to let go of any past fights, arguments, or grudges that you've been holding towards each other. Communication is key, and you know, being vulnerable in front of someone doesn't make you weak, and I think my Leos know that. Because Leos, I know that we come off very strong. We come off like we know what we want and we do. But we're not scared of showing emotion. Leos and Scorpios, very intense, very honest about it. Scorpios can hide their emotions pretty well. But I think Leos or even Scorpios, when they're dealing with someone in their romantic situation, we don't think we need to hide it. We're pretty okay with being vulnerable. But Leo, I think it's decision time for you. Are you going to wait for the past? Because the past might come apologize, but I don't see that past really taking any action. I, I'm not picking a good energy from them. The new person that you were dealing with had a pretty good energy, okay? But basically, it's a decision between a fresh start or the past cycles. Past cycles or the fresh start, Leo. What do you want? And I think you can have it whichever way you like, but you got to make a decision and be specific about it, okay? 
what's the outcome for my leo's love life for the month of september outcome for my leo's love life for the month of september so let's see leo what the final verdict is okay that's too many cards so many too many cards too many cards okay <sighs> excuse my breathing you guys final verdict you guys ready i'm gonna cut this okay i'm gonna cut this from here we're gonna keep this here i'm gonna cut this in half we're gonna pick this card leo that's your final verdict for the month of september six of cups wow i guess you made your decision leo huh reunion past person reconciliation so if you're already in a couple and you're having you know you want a fresh new start or a proper conversation about your emotions with your partner you're having it if it's the past person that you've been waiting on they're coming in month of september might look like it's not going to end in reconciliation but guess what it's going to end in reconciliation you're going to be choosing the past and i i, I it's nothing against you leo obviously you know you got to do what you feel is right right but Leo, I also feel that I think you want to stay with the past, stick with that reconciliation and work on things and fix that because you have already invested so much there, you know, and which makes sense to me. You know, personally, I think that makes sense because you have already emotionally invested somewhere. And if it's coming through, then why not? You know, why not work on that? But again, you know, don't go for new things, new people if you're not really sure about it right um because i do see that new person is kind of promising they have trust issues but then again at the same time they feel like you have someone else because you hold back from them but i feel like there's going to be reconciliation this month is going to be like it doesn't look like it's going to end in reconciliation but then it does okay and then it's kind of up to you leo it's kind of up to you Let's see what the Rebel deck has for you. Now, remember, guys, the Rebel deck does use swear words. So if you don't like the swear words, these videos are not made for kids. Please move on to the Starseed Oracle. Otherwise, just bear with me. I like the Rebel deck a lot. So we've got you are giving away your power. Ooh, Leo, interesting. And we've got ask a fucking expert. Okay, so we've got you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay. So everybody, you know, goes through a lot of shit. Everybody goes through some st stuff that's not easy to deal with. And I think, Leo, it's your turn. So gather yourself up. Have that strength, okay? And get it together. You can do it. You're a Leo. You're a king. You're a queen. Act like it. Then we've got, don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Ask a fucking expert, Leo, okay? So listen to a professional. You, just so you guys know, I do life coaching. And if you guys have questions, I would love to do dating coaching, but there's already so many date, uh, like, you know, love coaches out there. So not really something I've ever thought about pursuing. But if you guys ever need advice or need someone to talk to, you can always DM me on my Instagram, okay? And I am more than willing to talk to you guys about that, okay? Then we've got, you are giving away your power, Leo. You are a badass, act like it. Like I just, just said, you know? You're a king, you're a queen, act like it. And there we go. I, I actually forgot that this card says that. But Leo, yeah, act like it. So moving on to Starseed Oracle. Let's see what advice we have for you here. In case you guys are wondering... It's sweater season here. I live in Canada. It's cold as well. I don't know how to say, well, balls. <laughs> Sorry, I, it had to come out. Wait. So wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven, okay? So Leo, like I said, okay, if you want to wait for the like past person, there's nothing wrong with it. I totally get it, okay? And yes, you can manifest that. We did have the magician card in the beginning of this reading, right? But uh, 
but the thing is that then wait then wait on them things are not there yet have faith in the fact that your manifestations will come in don't get impatient don't get too fixated on the outcome okay don't get attached to the outcome let it flow okay do other things love life doesn't have to be our main focus all the time go to the gym uh, put some extra hours at your work make some extra money start a side hustle you know um, or if anything, do some yoga or meditate, right? Um, watch a movie, make a list, right? Do other things. You don't have to be always fixated on love. Also, I d forgot to mention here, guys, uh, when we're doing the singles read, the past person I said that will come back to you, that you're going to end up with or coming towards you. I'm sorry, not going to end up with coming towards you in the September. This is someone who also broke your trust. This two of cups in reverse is distrust is someone who has broken your trust, okay? And you're not really expecting them to come back. Um, but Leo, see, this is what I have for you, okay? Have some faith. And if you want to go in a fresh new start, a completely new direction, then decide. Make up your mind and stick with it, right? Um, but this is what I have for you guys. I hope this resonates. If it does, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.